Hey everyone, welcome back to another data visualization critique. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but I have found that people like these. So I'm gonna try to get back on the train a little bit and start making some more of these. And so for this round of the data visualization critique, we're gonna check out the Latino Data Hub. They have a nice little uh, data portal going on over here at the Latino Data Hub. So I'm gonna click on custom graphs and this is gonna bring us over to our data exploration journey page. I'm not gonna create a profile or login, although presumably that would make things easier for saving. Uh, I'm not gonna really gonna explore that, but let's click this nice button here, add a graph, and we've got our basic uh, um, selections here. So we've got a drop down menu, lots of different stuff in here, child well-being, demographics, education, all sorts of good stuff. I wish this was just a little bit longer so I can get a, uh, an easier sense here, but let's just click uh, here. Children uninsured for health insurance. Uh, got a nice bar chart here. We've got some sources and notes down on the bottom right, which is kind of a weird spot for it. Uh, we'll come back to that in a second. We can also click this drop down, and this is going to give us a full data table, which will allow us to download the data, which is lovely. Love that. I will say on the data table, I would love it if these numbers were right aligned, right? And so I generally want to align these numbers on the comma or the decimal because here, it you know, this is a good example because it's a little bit hard to see what's the largest number, right? You can see like the 68,000 for Native Americans is, is you know, pales in comparison to the 1.5 million. Um, so in terms of obviously levels, not in terms of percentage, um, but it would be easier, I think, to read if these were right aligned. And they could right align these and have the number sort of centered in the column, but the numbers right aligned. So that is that is possible something to consider. But let's go back to the chart. We've got all Latino, white, Asian, or Pacific Islander, black, and so on, uh, and other down at the bottom. If you've looked at my do no harm guide work, you know that I'd prefer some other label other than other. Uh, I also don't know how these are sorted. It's not alphabetical. I mean, it makes sense because this is the Latino data hub. It doesn't make sense to put Latino uh, in the in the second, at least in the second, if not the first right here. Um, but I'm not sure how these are, are ordered. I would, I, for me personally, if you're not going to order them by number, let's just order them alphabetically and be done with it. Um, and they've got a little sentence here that helps you sort of understand what's going on in each of these each of these bars on the on the tooltip. Let's click the map. Got a nice map here of the United States, and I really do like this bar chart over on the side. And what I especially like is how the colors in the chart match the colors in the map. So when I go down to South Carolina here, you can see it goes from the darkest blue to a slight lighter blue. Love that approach. What I don't love about this map, which isn't the biggest deal, but notice when you hover over any state, you click for VA data in this case, you can see I get this nice little tool tip here, but why do I have to click? Why not just make it a hover? I mean, that just, it's one more thing for me to do, which is one more thing I'm not gonna do. What's also nice is when I click view chart, it brings me over to the chart for Virginia. So that's, that's kind of nice. So let's go back. It brings me all the way back. So I'm gonna have to go back in here and get into my custom graphs area. Let's take a look at what happens when you download this as a picture. So it generates an image. And you can see here, you right click or tap and hold to save it. So you just download it. I, what happens, this is the image that you get when you, when you download that PNG. And what I don't love is that there's so much space taken up by the source and the notes over here in the text. And I'd rather have this be a little bit smaller. I'd rather have it not be bold faced, right? This is darker than the labels here on the bar chart. So I'd rather have these be, you know, not bold faced, a little smaller, and then maybe off to the left and then full justified or at least stretching further across so that most of this image is the graph. I mean, I guess the question is, what would I use this for? If I was using this site, I downloaded this graph, I probably wanna drop it into my website, a blog post or a PowerPoint slide or some sort of presentation deck. And in that case, I want to use the whole screen. I wanna have it all there. And this is just, you know, just so much unused space. So so that would be a, a thing that I would, I'd wanna change on this particular, um, uh, aspect of the site. Maybe this is part of the CSS in the website. I'm not exactly sure, not my area, but uh, that is one thing that, I, that I'd like to change. Now, the thing that I do really like the most is that I can add a graph here. So I like this graph, for example, I'm doing my work. Okay, let's add something. I don't want to just get rid of that and replace it. So now I can go back here and I can look at, I'm just going to here. Uh, yeah, household income. That's a good one. I get same bar chart, same order, which is nice. The bar charts are ordered in the same way, but again, 
I'd want to do that in a slightly different way. I can turn some of these on or off, which is pretty nice. Um, I can look at the table, I can download the picture, and again, I can go over to the map over here. Um, you see it gives you the overall up here. You know, this is just kind of like its own box. I'm not sure if there's a better way to do it. You know, maybe when you click over here, it would bring you down to that, that bar chart. I don't know, maybe there's more to do here. Maybe not, not really sure. Um, but you can see, here's all the options that we have in these indicators. So, you know, all these filters. So this is really nice too. You can sort of uh, play around and, you know, so if I just started randomly selecting here, presumably these are all just cross tabs and we'll see what we get. I just picked that randomly and there we go. Pick just a few and there's no data for a bunch of these, which is, which is, which is nice. Um, and so you can see they actually do give you that note, but again, I'd like that change a little bit. So overall, I really like this page. I really like the way they've presented the data and allow you to download it and, and move it around. I guess for me, the, the two biggest things that I'm looking for is a better option to download. So I'm not a fan of all this, all this blank white space. Um, I'd like to see some different ordering here. Uh, some, some, and maybe there's a reason they, they chose this order. I'm not really sure. Um, and also you'll notice that basically you can only toggle between bar charts and maps. And so I could th see maybe in a version 2.0 where you could combine some of these data, right? Where you could take a look at relationships. You can take a look at, you know, trends over time or something like that. And so you might be able to think about having some more data here and some, some more options to create some, some different types of interactions. But I think it's a really nice uh, uh, portal, data portal from the Latino Data Hub that lets us really dive into a lot of the data around the United States.